she beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Pull up a seat. Hope you enjoyed the content. And before we get into this video, I want to ask that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Go ahead and tap that bell while you're at it so you're notified anytime I drop a brand new video. Go live or schedule a premiere. All right, y'all. So today I'm back with a car video. I'm out and about running some errands and I grabbed some food while I was out. And I was like, I'm about to I'm about to eat with my GP fam. I am. So I got some wiener schnitzel. I have a mustard dog. So it's just mustard. These are beef dogs as well. And I got I don't know what this one is called. I just saw the stuff on it, so I got it. It looks like some a pickle, tomatoes, peppers, onions. This is all beef as well. And I got some fries. I done started eating the fries already. And I'm mad I forgot to ask for ketchup. But that's fine. I'll be alright. Um, so I'm about to start with this mustard dog. It's nice and simple. Mmm. I was just having all kind of cravings earlier today. And I know that it's a cravings thing because I never... Like, I'm not a big hot dog person. In a year, I might eat hot dogs once. Twice, max. But I, you will never just hear me be like, oh, I want a hot dog. I never say that. This is good. I haven't been to Wiener Schnitzel in years. And I had asked my honey. I asked her, you know, I was like, do y'all have this in um, Ohio? She was like, no. She said she never heard of it. I used to always get their corn dogs. Mm -hmm. I feel like this one gonna be hard to get out. Let me show y'all this one again. I feel like this is gonna be hard to get out. I don't know why. I just do. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's a little messy. But we're gonna make it work, though. I feel like, no, nah, I don't, and she didn't give me my receipt. I don't wanna, I was gonna make up a name, what I thought this is called, but I have no idea what it's called, honestly. Mm. That is good and messy. I love when I do eat a hot dog I love having onions on it a hot dog Polish dog hot link Mm. Woo! Woo, why did I eat that pepper like that? Mmm. Woo! I was not expecting that to be that hot. That's what I get.
this mustard dog is so simple but it's really good mm. this bun is really soft too Wiener schnitzel always reminds me a lot of like Arby's. At both places, there's never anybody in the driveway. I mean, like there's never anybody there. And this Wiener schnitzel has been, been by my house for a long time, you know, and it's in the same parking lot as the Sprouts that I go to. I mean, so I'm over here all the time is my point. And there's never anybody, anybody. I don't ever see anybody ordering food. Like, it's so funny because like my storytelling brain. I'm like, I never see anybody ordering food at Arby's or or Wiener Stencil. And I just imagine it being a front for something else. A ton of other things I've thought about. I'm like, how does this stay open? But they probably be having like, I'm sure lunch rushes and stuff like that. I'm sure folks roll through at night when they're getting off work to pick up something real quick. That pickle was good. I'm smashing this food because it's actually really good. I'm really surprised. I'm happy that I had a craving for something and I'm not disappointed. Because how many times does that happen? When you really want something, even if it's out the blue, you want something, you you know, you, you go get dressed, you go find it, you don't mind paying however much it costs, and you disappointed. Because it just don't taste good. But this is actually really good. I'm glad I got this. This is my hot dog fix for the year. I'm about to talk about a topic about um, like friendship in just a second. I was exchanging messages with somebody on Instagram and they had asked me a question. We were kind of going back and forth. So I figured I would talk to y'all about it. I sure wish I had just some kind of sauce. It, didn't, it only had to be ketchup, just something. I'm so saucy. I love a saucy. I love sauce like so much. You know what I'm saying? Like I love to just like dip. So this is kind of like weird eating the fries without no sauce. Cause they weren't bad. Like I had a fry when they first gave me the food fresh and hot, like hot. The fries weren't bad. But now that they've been sitting for a little while, they can stand to you. They need a little sauce right now. But they weren't bad though. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised by all of this. <clears throat> all right. So, somebody has sent me a message. This woman sent me a message about, was asking my opinion about, um, she was telling me about a friend of hers. They've been friends for a while. And, you know, she was telling me that she got married end of last year. And one of her friends, who's a pretty good friend, like this person was in her wedding party for context like that's how close they are that you you know you ask this person to be in your wedding they had to come to all the rehearsals and do all that stuff the fittings and all that stuff right so this person was in her wedding and at the reception this friend saw somebody that she i guess had some issues with and confronted this person it became an altercation a physical altercation and one person jumped in another person jumped in it escalated they ended up getting kicked out of the establishment because it was like this it was a brawl pretty much you know what i'm saying and she was just asking me like is she wrong for like not taking her phone calls 
and I was like, I mean, that's a, that's, that's a pretty huge deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to know a little bit more about, about the friendship. So I was asking, like, is this the first time she's done something like that? And she was saying that, like, when she started really thinking about the friendship, you know, since they haven't been talking, she's been thinking about the, the friendship. And she was saying, like, looking back, how this friend goes out of her way to, like, center herself, you know, as really as often as she can kind of she wants to be the center of attention um she doesn't like it when the spotlight is not on her um she was saying how they were at a baby shower and she tried to you know make this big announcement at somebody else's baby shower so i was just like okay you know i was just kind of getting a little more like like backstory about the friend to me she doesn't seem like that great of a friend i'll be honest um a real friend is not going to ruin your day, you know, like confronting somebody is never going to be that important, you know, unless this person is like an immediate threat or danger to that person, you know, but besides that, you got to be able to put your feelings aside and, you know, just imagine the time that went into planning a wedding, the money, the effort, the just everything. And this person's getting married and it's, it's their big day and you feel like that you can't keep compose yourself for a couple of hours around certain people that to me that's not a friend it's not you know like i just can't imagine my friend doing something like that and i as a friend would never do that and you know and i've been around like people that maybe my friend is still they you know i've been in situations where i've been invited to birthday parties or get togethers game nights where it's kind of intimate and there's somebody there that i cannot stand or that i don't really care for you know but am i about to flip over tables and stuff no nah, like I know how to keep myself together enough. And I feel like when you love and respect somebody enough, you would, you would never do that. So I just told her she has a, you know, a lot of thinking to do. Um, but also too, maybe this was the final straw, you know, it doesn't sound like that she is the kind of friend to really hold on to, you know, I asked her like, also to, I asked her like, you know, do you feel like she's been there for you? And really the way she was kind of breaking things down, she seems like the fun friend, the friend that's all about a turn up, the friend that, um, will come to the birthday celebration, the friend that is, you know, go come to Vegas or go to the strip club. That's what it sounded like to me. She didn't really give me, I didn't really get friend from her. Like the person that I would confide in, a person that I would tell my darkest secrets, a person I could be vulnerable with, you know? So I was just like, you know, maybe that's where you should have kept her this entire time. And maybe she shouldn't have been in your wedding. You know, I'm also not saying the fun friend can't be in the wedding. I'm saying that y'all don't really seem that close. That's, that's what it seems like to me. Um, and it's just really made me think about like how, you know, adult, like, okay. So in my twenties, you know, I was very social. I've really been a very social per person all of my adult life for the most part. And, you know, when I was running with people in my twenties, you know, we, we, we were young figuring ourselves out. You know what I'm saying? Like we didn't have a whole bunch of responsibilities like that. And I was just around people who was having a good time. You know, it wasn't about being vulnerable. It wasn't about, you know, oh, we got to be best friends. No, I was just running around the city, having a good time and hanging out with people, calling whoever I felt like was going to pick up and show up so we can go have a good time. But then, of course, that changed as I got older. So I think a lot of it is that, you know, as as you get older, I think a lot of us can really just be guilty of like looking back at certain friendships that people have been around because of the history, you know, and this may be the case. So I wish I would have asked her that this sounds to me, this sounds like a person that she may have became friends with when they were like in high school or maybe while you first started college or something like that. And this person has just been around, but like being around doesn't justify or give you the right to tear up my reception, you know, but also to history also isn't a reason enough for somebody to be around for your special moments in your life you know because our friends do play such a significant role you know we value their opinion you know we confide in them um you know we trust the things that they're telling us and things we're telling them so i think that friendship is very very important um and you know it's like you got to look at it through a different lens as you get older because you start to have different needs you know i do think that i don't think that you tell every friend everything but i do think that you have to realize what role this person is in your life you know and it is okay to have a fun the fun friends it's, it's cool to have a fun crew but also who can i talk to about my ideas who can i talk to what you know if there's something in terms of a relationship who can i talk to who can i trust um if somebody about finances somebody about just being me being vulnerable if i'm having mental health issues who can i talk to about those things so i think that you know your needs just change as you get older 
And you do want to have people around that you can confide in and talk to about certain things. You know, everything just isn't going to be for one particular friend. But I think it's about being honest because some people really aren't your friend. And maybe they were at some point when you were younger, but that person is really more so now an associate, somebody you just kind of hang out with every now and then versus being a friend. Um, you know, adult friendships can be tough, though. They can be tough because we all have so many responsibilities um, and we're just not as available as we used to be. Like when the friendship started and, you know, you don't want anybody to take that out of context. People are getting married. People are settling down. They got kids. They live in different countries, different cities, different, you know, all kind of stuff is going on. And, you know, you're still trying to maintain these friendships. So it takes a lot to maintain a friendship. But I think in that particular situation, um, to me, that's not how a friend operates. In, at all again if there wasn't any immediate danger or reason for them them to for her to confront that person she had to you know she had a responsibility in my opinion to hold that together and do that on your time like not during my wedding do that shit during your time no you know i've dropped too much money spent too much time and it's for all that you know what i'm saying i didn't do that and and like to get kicked out to get kicked out of your reception come on like that's embarrassing that is embarrassing and like, I mean, I just can't even imagine how I would feel. Like, I wouldn't want to talk to anybody. Like, I would kind of want to crawl under a rock for a little bit because I'd be so embarrassed that this happened at my reception, you know? Because, like, what do you do? Do you have another reception to do it over to try to, like, recreate, you know, what you what you thought you were going to have that night? I don't know, but that that's a lot. So that's my opinion about the friendship thing is that you need to assess things um like be honest with yourself about who she's been up until this point and maybe she, the signs were always there i know it's very easy to ignore the flags and the signs that people are not a friend or that maybe they're not the kind of person you should hold so closely in your circle and and hold in such a high regard you know um but yeah adult friendships are a lot it's a lot to navigate um it's hard when you got to walk away you know, when you got to like, you know, create some distance and space between certain people or you guys stop being friends altogether. That shit is hard. It's heartbreaking. You know, you think about the experiences you've had with people, the time y'all spent, the places y'all have traveled, the things you've shared with one another. And you like, damn, like, I'm not going to ever see that person again. And one thing I'm going to tell you all what I've been struggling with lately is thinking about people that I'm not friends with anymore. But I, I don't wish any ill on them. I think about their family, their sisters, their brothers, all of that. Right. I just think like, damn, what if something happened to their parents? Like, I mean, we're not friends. I'm still going to care. That's going to matter to me. Like, how would I respond to that? You know what I'm saying? I would be devastated, you know, to hear of any of my friends, you know, past or present, their parents passing away. That's like, that's a huge loss. And I've just been thinking about that lately. Like, damn, you know, we're all getting older. Um... But even in these thoughts, I'm still like, no, I, I, the right decision has been made. We should not be friends in, in each other's lives because of certain things that have happened. But this, there's still the love that's there. And it's like, I still think about their family. And it's like, if something happened, I would be really sad. And it would also probably really be hard for me not to be around like that. You know, I don't know. Like, do I send flowers? Like, I, it's just a lot. I'll be thinking about all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, adult friendships can be tough. Um, but I do think it, it is. It's about being honest, though. Got to be got to be deeply honest with yourself and call things what they are you know and not to mention people used to be good be a great friend and maybe they aren't present day you know what i'm saying so people change sometimes not for the best so um anyways i just wanted to talk about that and talk through you know, like friendship and stuff or whatever um uh, so anyways if you enjoyed the video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up i appreciate y'all make the best of the day be good to yourself peace i be beaming i be booming down that block down that block Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot